Hey guys, Mary Meet, and welcome to another reading. And today's reading, this is for someone who I have really come to enjoy reading for. Uh, this is for Citrin again, and she's going through like a lot of really cool life stuff. She just has these really kind of amazing things coming up for her, and I love that. Like, I love, that's my special favorite thing, is to read for people who are in the middle of transition, okay? Who are just their life path has just veered off course, right? And that can be due to various things. That can be due to, you know, death, loss of a job, uh, loss of a relationship, that sort of thing. Or it can be like you receive a calling, right? And that's kind of the case here. Now, this is kind of the next logical reading, uh, she and I agreed, for her situation, where she's following this, this new life path, right? It's very exciting, very cool what she's doing. And... So her next logical question is, hey, I've been married, I think she said 36 years. Um, is my spouse going to be able to keep up? Okay, is he going to be able to be supportive? Uh, will he be there for me? Yeah, so that's basically the question is, you know, uh, very often we go through these changes and the people that we've been with for forever um, have trouble keeping up right? They get, they get nervous. We're going through all these changes. We're changing, but like a strong relationship can weather that, right? And it sounds like your relationship is really strong anyways, because you've been together for a long time. So you know each other very well inside and out. Um, so yeah, so let me, let me talk a little bit about the stones I chose. I, I chose uh, Peridot because not only does it open the heart chakra uh, for, you know, good communication and good emotional healing, but it also is really good for life path work. And I use this for life path work a lot. And actually, I remembered I also wanted to use astrophilite, which is also really good for life path work. So we're just gonna kind of nestle that in right here, okay? So <clears throat> again, astrophilite, peridot, perfect for life path, new stuff coming up, that sort of thing. So that's gonna be really supportive during that. Now, I also have rose quartz here, and rose quartz, like, is the epitome of the stone for love, right? It's gentle, it's about love, it's also about really deep friendship, okay? So, um, you know, this is really going to pertain to your relationship. It's also going to pertain to your friends around you and the other people who support you. Now, here we have, this is one of my favorites. I actually tend to use this more than rose quartz because it has that same kind of love connotation, but it also has a very strong element of self-love, okay? And as a creative person, as a person who has like this weird spiritual path that, you know, sometimes my spouse doesn't get what I'm doing, he thinks I'm a little crazy. Um, it's really important to love yourself and to know that you're doing the right thing for you and to know to love yourself, you know what I mean? So that's also really important. And I like to use that in conjunction with Rose Quartz because this is a little bit more love of the other, you know, having, receiving that love from other people. This is about loving yourself and, th and that's crucial, right? And then I finally brought in some citron. This is just for you. Uh, I just, I just wanted to have this because I was like, you know, I haven't used citron in a reading for Citrin and it needs to be here. And it's also, you know, it's good for that, that kind of energy, that sunny, bright energy, right? And any new project needs a little bit of, of that positivity and that joy, okay? So I'm using uh, Colette Baron Reads. I'm using the Good Tarot and also Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I love her stuff. It's very, for me, her decks are very loving, okay? They're very supportive, and so I thought these would be really the best decks for this. Um, <clears throat> but this one, uh, The Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, talks about people in your life, okay? It talks about, you know, actual people in your life, but also, like, spirit guides, okay? So that's not something I work with, like, a lot, but this deck is really good for that. And it's really good for kind of expressing what you need or... Um, you know, what is challenging you as far as the people in your life. So that's why I chose this one. So let's get started. Now first, um, and I'm going to read this as past, present, future, right? So the past, 
Okay, well, we've got the world, right? So it seems like your relationship has been really good. Um, you have just really accomplished a lot together. You have been there for each other. You have experienced like all sorts of things together. Okay. So that's a really good firm foundation, right? And you know, there's a possibility you've even traveled, right? So it also kind of tells me that, you know, he is your world, right? Um, he has been the center of your universe, right? And the way these are lined up, yeah, it's like here is just the center of the universe. We've got all these other heavenly bodies, but everything kind of focuses on the two of you, okay? So that's good. That's like a really good firm foundation, right? It's not like you were just together out of boredom. Um, there has been some solid love, some solid experiences together. And experiences really, you know, bring people closer together. So, so that's a good thing. The, the past is solid, right? So in the present... We've got the page of water, okay? And the page of water is feeling all these new things, okay? Um, he or she is exploring, right? In a very emotional way, okay? Because the water is emotions. The water is the ebbs and tides, um, you know, going with the tides of the moon, the tides of the ocean, that sort of thing. And so there are all these new feelings coming up. And, you know, that could be on your side that you have all these new feelings that could be on his side and the page of water also has like a spiritual uh connotation but the, because the water is also spiritual right so I, that makes me think that this is really about you okay that you just have all this new stuff you're kind of back and forth because you know sometimes when you're called like you have been it can be really emotional. It can be really like, you're so excited. You're so, you, you stay up all night and you, you dream about all these things that you want to do, but then you exhaust yourself. <laughs> and, and I'm kind of projecting here because I do this sort of thing. When I, I get really excited, when I feel like I've, I've got this thing that it just needs to happen, that I just need to do. It's very back and forth because I'm so excited, but then I burn myself out really quickly because I have been so excited for so long. Um, so yeah, so I feel like there's just this fluctuation, okay? And you're kind of caught up in all these tides and the waves are crashing over you in kind of a good way and kind of, you know, like in an overwhelming way. Um, but that's okay because this is major, major stuff that you're doing, right? This is not just a whim that you're following, okay? And it's really deep to you. It's really deeply emotional and it's affecting you to your core, okay? So that's it's kind of a good thing. I feel like with what you're doing, that's where you need to be. You need to be so involved in it like that. Um, because it is new and you are going to be really connecting. Like we have, we have talked about this before. You're going to be connecting with people on an emotional level. So it's good that you have that emotional connection to it. So in the future, we have, oh, the Ten of, okay, Ten of Air. So that's uh, like the Ten of Swords. Now, usually what that means is that something needs to be cut out. And I don't think that this is saying to cut out your relationship. Certainly not with how long you have been uh, together. But, you know, usually that's just saying something is dead and gone. Stop hanging on to it. And that can be the way that you had your relationship before, right? Or certain expectations that had been built or certain habits that you build in a relationship. Okay. So yeah. So you need to like really discern, okay. What is important to keep in this relationship? What is important to talk to your spouse and change? Okay. Because it does seem like you're so in the middle of this fluctuation here that you can't go by the same old patterns that you've gone with before, okay? And you need to decide what's not helping you and cut it out and get rid of it, okay? Be, be done with it. And if you talk to your spouse, having been together so long, I feel like, I feel like they might agree, you know what I mean? Maybe they don't necessarily have that same passion. They're not going through the same thing that you're going through. And so they're having trouble understanding, but you need to be like, okay, well, hey, this means that I can't do this for you. I, I can't be this for you right now because I have this calling here. I have this thing that I'm following, right? So, 
yeah, I mean, and it could be, you know, I feel like there's just some structure that needs to be cut away. So that could even be moving out of your house. Okay. That could be you always having to cook dinner every night <laughs> or, you know, just various things like that, that need to be gotten rid of so that you can follow this because this is so important. What you're doing is important. Okay. And I think you know that. I think that that's why we have been talking so much is because you know that this is huge. Okay. Now for special guidance, and I'm going to use the book for this because Oracle cards, there are dozens of different decks that I have and they all uh, have different cards and I can't memorize all of them <laughs> because that would be crazy. So here we've got the Spiral Dancer and that's reverse and that's number five. Okay. So the Spiral Dancer, when it's reversed, that gives us the Challenger here and it is not... Okay, it's barely trying. So, um, and it's saying, it seems as if you're getting caught out of breath, um, going in the wrong direction. Sometimes you're so busy dancing to your own tune that you find yourself out of step with everyone else. Perhaps now is the time to regroup, sit down, and rest for a while until the rhythm calls you. It's hard to read this around the camera. <laughs> until the rhythm calls you to the dance again. The Spiral Dancers is a gentle one, so be still and know that you're always loved. If your question is about a relationship, it is, don't be too assertive now. This is the time to be receptive and allow someone else to take the lead and show his or her true nature to you. At the same time, be careful of being manipulated. You will know the truth about your situation clearly if you sit, the, uh, sit this dance out and observe. Okay, so really what that's telling me is that while, yes, you do need to cut things out, you need to be gentle about it, okay? You need to... Make it a group effort, right? So just re-examine your relationship. See what's working, what's not working. Your spouse may agree on some things, you know? They may be like, yeah, okay, well, this hasn't been working for me. And it's kind of a chance for you both to kind of get rid of the things that don't work and bring forth new positive things. And this is telling you to, like, maybe even retreat a little bit, okay? You know, because honestly, sometimes when you have a calling like this, your spouse can't really support you because they don't know how, right? They're just not of the same mindset that they would be able to be effective in supporting you, right? And I kind of run into this myself where, um, you know, my husband, he loves me very, very much. I love him very, very much. And we try to support each other, but sometimes he just doesn't know how. Sometimes the things that I talk about, you know, he, he tries to wrap his brain around it, but it's just not part of his consciousness the things that I'm talking about are just not part of his consciousness part of his understanding right and that's fine right because your partner can't always be absolutely everything to you because they're not perfect they have their own things they have their own biases and their own needs and their own wants and their own hobbies and their own you know calling maybe that they're following you know that sort of thing so yeah I mean it could be that you know, whether or not he can be the most supportive person in the world, you know, maybe you have a friend who is going to be that support for you. Maybe you have an online community that's going to be that support for you. Maybe you have, maybe you need to be this person for yourself. You know, maybe you need to be your own cheerleader. Um, because that happens sometimes where it's kind of lonely when you kind of go off onto your own path where, you know, sometimes people can't meet you there. And that's okay. That's just, Kind of part of it, right? So yeah, so I don't know. I feel like if you re-examine the relationship and you re-examine like what you are expecting from each other, and like really, you know, after thirty-six years, it's it, and I keep saying thirty-six. I don't know. I couldn't find the the message because my computer is crazy right now. But after that much time uh, that you've been together. You know, it may be that it's just time to sit down and re-examine everything, and that's that's fine. That's great. That that will keep things, you know, lively, right? Um, but yeah, don't don't place too much emphasis on they have to support me. Okay, they have to be everything to me, um, because sometimes people just can't do that. So yeah. So I hope this helps. Um, let me know. But it, you know, again, it does seem like there's just such a firm foundation here that. 
yeah, there's a firm foundation, but you're just going through a lot. And yeah, so I, I feel like things are solid, but let me know uh, if this resonates for you. Um, yeah, again, keep in touch because I know, you know, this was kind of rounding out the, the three readings that you wanted, but I, I still really want to keep up with you and, and make sure you're doing well and see like, you know, just drop me a message every once in a while. It's amyravenson at gmail.com and let me know how your practice is going because I love what you're doing. So <laughs> that's it. Hope you have a great weekend and blessed be. Bye-bye.